Hi, I'm Jamie from TJ's Tech Media and Games. Today I'll be reviewing for you the Amazon Wand. The Amazon Wand is Amazon's latest shopping assistant that has Alexa built into it. At $20, the Amazon Wand is also Amazon's cheapest Alexa enabled device. Uh, the Echo Dot comes in at $39.99, which is $20 more than the Wand, and it has a lot of the same features. Now, it can't play music like the Echo Dot does, but it's got one more trick up its sleeve that the Dot doesn't have, so let's get right down to that. The Amazon Wand does have Alexa enabled with a press of a button. Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.49 p.m. Now, you might think that this more resembles the Amazon Tap, and you would be correct in that you have to press the button to activate the uh, Alexa feature of it. Uh, but it's not a huge deal because this is meant to go in your hands at all times, um, and I'll show you why in just a second here. The Amazon Wand comes with one trick that none of the other devices really has, and that's that it's got a built-in scanner. So, if you have a product you're going to reorder from Amazon's website, you simply press the white button, scanner pops up, and you'll know from that sound whether or not it made it to your shopping cart or not. Um, you're going to hear three different audible signals for when you use the wand. The first one's going to say that yes, I do sell this product on Amazon and it is available in your shopping cart. Another tone you're going to hear is yes, it is available on Amazon.com, but you may have to make another choice as far as the size or volume or brand. And then the last one you might hear is saying that we don't carry this, you would pick something else. Um, until you learn those cues, it could be kind of confusing, but once you learn what they mean, you know, you'll, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. Um, if you ask Alexa to play music, listen to what happens here. Watch this. Alexa, play me a song. Amazon Music is not supported on this device. Not a huge deal because it isn't really meant to replace your other Echo devices in your home or your other Alexa devices in your home. Um, it's meant for shopping. And let me give you another idea how this works here. You got a product. So I got a bag of chips here. So watch your when I scan the barcode. So I scanned this item before and what it told me was that it's available, but not in the quantity that I scanned it. So I've got to choose whether or not I want to buy four bags of this of this brand of chip or not. Um, that's one thing I did find with this device is that it'll choose products that are sold in bulk a lot of times. And you have to decide if that's going to be the best option for you. Um, even if you buy it at Walmart or Target for like one item, one case or one package or one you know individual item, it'll still give you the bulk options, which I'm not really crazy about. Um, Maybe there's a way of they can refine that down the road where you can actually purchase just one of, you know, a bag of chips or so on and so forth. I know it's not, probably they do that because of shipping costs, I'll bet. But, you know, I guess you shop on Amazon for bulk reasons anyway. Um, the device runs on two AA batteries, which are included with the package. Uh, so you're up and running right away. Um, the microphone is pretty sensitive as well. I didn't have any issues at all with the picking up my sound of my voice or whatnot. Of course, if you have to press a button, it's always by your mouth anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, it seems pretty durable as well. I don't think that if I drop it, you know, on a carpet or even once or twice on a hard floor from a few feet, um, a few feet length, it's not gonna destroy it. It feels pretty solid, pretty heavy. Um, it's about it's about the size of Wii Remote, you know, if we, you know, if we were the old Wii systems, about the same size as that. Really about the same weight as well, maybe a little bit lighter than that, but not by much. Um, you can see what it looks like in half. Uh, this is the handle, and then the batteries go right inside there. And then you just close it back up, and there it is. Um, this is a pretty slick device, and I can see this becoming a staple in a lot of homes. Um, once they refine the, the quality and the shopping cart issues, which I'm sure they're working on right now, once they resolve that, I'd use this probably every day or once a week while I get my shopping list together. Um, one thing I would like them to do, though, is to instead of going through a shopping cart, maybe adding it to your list, your shopping list as well. Um, and that way I can decide maybe at a later date to refine that list and then add it to my shopping cart. Um, that would keep my, gotta keep your cart clean. But otherwise, you're going to have a lot of clutter in there that is going to be a pain in the butt to deal with down the road. So... I'd also like to have the option to maybe upload the items to 
a separate list on my smartphone. Probably not going to happen unless it's a smartphone app that Amazon made. But that would be really cool to maybe have a scanner like this and have it uploaded to my, let's say, my Google Notes or my um, my um, Evernote shopping list. I can take the supermarket and just buy things that way. Amazon won't allow that, I know, because it's they want you to buy from you know, their website, and I get that, but maybe somebody's going to invent something like that. That would be pretty neat. So, for the most part, guys, I love the device. It's really it's really handy. It's really neat, and that it has all the Alexa features built into it. I like that a lot. Um, and at 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. Actually, if you buy this, I think there's an offer right now on Amazon, that if you buy this right now, they'll give you $20 to spend, and I believe, the um, in their food pantry, I believe. Um, also, it's only available for Prime members for some reason right now. They'll probably change that down the road. Uh, but uh, look, keep your eyes out for this if you're not a Prime member already. You may want to pick this up down the road because you're gonna, you're really gonna like it, I think. That's it for now, guys. We might have some other reviews for you guys later on. Uh, but that's it for the Amazon One. Uh, I'd say if you have 20 bucks to spare and you're already a Prime member, go ahead and grab this thing. You're gonna like it.